Hello, welcome to my channel. My name is Aziza. I'm reading today for the sign of Scorpio, for love and relationship, for the month of February You're uptight, holding on so much against your person. There's so some negativity here. You feel that the, your person, like, you, you jump into conclusions about something. You say, like, my person is really dealing with some bad situation. You feel like you know, that your person still, like, you want know, their exes or deal with other people. You think that your person is playing games. Your emotions are stepping in the way, like, you know, that. Up and down, emotionally, good, bad. You don't understand. You don't know what to do. You keep thinking about an ex of yours also, for some of you. I get here that, do they love the, the person that they are with? Are they, do, they, do they love you? Um, do they want you or not? And kind of like feeling these emotions since a long time ago. Not for every one of you. You are in a relationship right now and I get here that you want to turn to the better. And I get here your person keep really like you want really to come to you from a trip or afar to you. For some of you like you know, your person keep really going on trips like you know, to see other people like you know, which is maybe friends, family. But You can be like, you know, really on, you have to be on the safe side. You have to be on the peaceful side at this time because I get here that you have this emotions like deep inside you as I'm fed up, I've done enough, I've done everything, I've done every trick in the book. I'm trying to be like, you know, playful, I'm trying to be tricky, I'm trying to be playing psychology with my person, everything. But it's not working that this person would like me to rush into having this commitment or relationship with me or step forward a little bit. Like a step only forward one time. I get here that, you know, your person feel like you know, the negative vibes coming from you. But they always feel like you know, that you want that certain saying from your person to say something like, you know, or a certain word or a certain like, you know, okay, we are together and we are married or are we going to get married? They feel like you know, that you are pushing or you want this so badly or you want this to happen so much in a certain way that it's not making your person feel like you know, having their freedom to say something. It's kind of like they feel that you want that obligation so much and they are like, you know what? I don't know. I don't know what to do. Like your person is not. Yes. They are not shaking a leg. I see that. They do admire like you know, the effort and the work that you are doing with them, with them. And I get here, they think that you have done more than enough of work and effort to be married to you. It's kind of like your person think about it, but they are not really saying anything about it yet. There is a Capricorn person here. Whatever happened in the past, happened in the past, let it go. Because... You are in a relationship right now, but you don't feel that this is really the right one because you think that you are not really advanced or moving forward for certain like you know, things that you think in your mind, but it's coming to you. For some of you, I get here, you are coming to move on. You want to move on. You want to let go like you know, this person because you feel like, you know what? I'm wasting my time and my energy. People don't act like that. A boyfriend or a, or a girlfriend, like, you know, if they want to be in the relationship and committed, they will act differently. I'm done with this. Like, you know, that's what you think. You're looking at things like, you know, how to make you happy. 
not really just like you know to try to make the other person happy and i get here like you know, you've done enough for your person you feel great about yourself to say you know what from now on i'm looking into myself i know how to be happy i'm moving forward and i get here your person here like you know that they are taking like you know, the steps and uh, okay we are together i'm committed to you where are you going of course you are the wife or the husband I'm making you the wife or the husband. I'm approaching you with a good relationship. I'm committed to you. This person is really committed to you. But they don't want to give you that pleasure to say something really so much so badly or to take that step forward with you. For some reason, it's not making anybody understand why would this person just like, you know, acting this way. Okay, if you are so committed to me, Okay, this reading doesn't lie. This person is really committed to you. This is the real commitment here. This person is approaching you with marriage and everything. But you are telling yourself why this person haven't been really doing it. Why not? Why it hasn't been? Sometimes I get here that they feel like you know, that you want to cut it off with them and they ignore you. They don't want to deal with it. Okay, she, wanna, she or he like you know, want to cut it off. I'm going to ignore it. I don't want to hear this anymore. I heard it many times and I don't want to hear it. They ignore everything that you are saying. It says here, you want to move on? Move on, fine. It's not like they want you to move on. They really still want you to be with them. But in the same time, I get here that you cannot really try to have control or upper hand. That's it, I'm done. If you want to walk away, just walk away. Period. But to be theoretical to your person, I'm walking away, I'm getting someone else. Sometimes, Many times, actually, it does not work because the other person doesn't really like to work under pressure or threat. Hmm. Their ego is in the way. You love your person very much. You do really very well. You have your confidence sometimes and you are really like you're so good about what you do or what you do with your person and you love your person. It's not like, no, you don't. But I get here when you back off and you become cold on your person, I get here that your person got of like, hmm. Okay, I'm confused now. What's going on there? But you still lucky no matter what. Yes, your person is in love with you. That's really honesty. This person is not lying to you. Or pretend that they love you. Why do they want to pretend anyway? Okay. You are both on the right balance. But he or she can be really worried. And that make you really very worried. That's not ever going to happen. Worry again. It says here, relax. You feel like, you know. Maybe I should like to go and meet with someone else and have a love, a new love. For some of you, there is a new love that if you are not really have been connected with someone lately, there is a new love coming to you. But it shows me here that you always become undecided about a new love. If you are with someone and you want to leave them and get a new love, you become like an undecided back and forth. And you feel like, no. I invested so much in that relationship and too much time and money and energy and time like you have been really like you passed so long with that person. I don't want to lose this person. I'm just being smart with him or her. Yeah, I don't trust it. Maybe I'm paying for everything. The other person cannot provide very much or something like that. Not every single one of you, but you are like, I'm not losing this relationship. I'm staying in it. So no, no one is leaving. There is a turn to the better, but you feel like you know, that I do a lot of effort, I do everything, and I'm not really going to do it again. This is when you feel like you know, really trying to, to put like, you know, these demands, like you know, you're feeling that bad luck in it, like so much, I don't want to do it, I'm not sure about doing it. Control your emotions, and I get here, if you want to say something, you have to be really opening up, not in yelling, cursing, screaming. And being rude to your person or disrespectful, you can just tell them what you want and leave it be. But keep pushing it, it's not going to work. Everything happens in time. You already have the relationship. You're going to get more of it later, yes. I just want to see why this person have been ignoring your knees and not stepping up. 
Some of you, they live in a different area far away. Some of you, like, you know, that they have been really going through changes and walked away from other relationships. Some of you, they wanted to be really keeping their freedom not to be responsible yet. Some of you could not commit because there are financial problems at this time also. At the end, you get your wish. You're going to be married to this person no matter what. Dear Scorpio, I hope you enjoyed the reading. And if you need a private reading, please contact me. And the link for my website is below this video, mysticalaziza.com. And when you click on the website, please click on reading prices, purchase your minutes, and give me a call. The phone number is listed on my website. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.